Let's VR! This is Amber. You're watching Virtual Reality Gameplay. Today I'm playing Herobound Gladiators on the Gear VR. Herobound Gladiators is one of the first multiplayer games where you can play a hero among a party of heroes. So my hero is the one with the yellow ring around it. Another player has the blue ring around them and there's also a player kind of on the ledge there with a green ring so there's only three of us there can be up to four players in a party uh, and I kind of joined in the middle of uh, this map and so again I'm the one with the yellow ring around me in the middle and I have the blue sword uh, and now I'm just killing these blobs so to move your character you use the left stick to jump you use the uh, A button and to attack you use the X button this game requires a gamepad controller and you use the Y button to change weapons. So right now I'm using the sword, but you also have a bow and arrow for ranged attacks and an axe, which can take out multiple enemies at once. Okay, so that was a really quick map. But here I'm in this survive uh, map. So I have about a minute and 30 seconds. So uh, me and my party were trying to kill as many um, enemies as possible and collect gems because that's how we level up is by collecting gems. The green gem is worth one, the blue gem is worth five, and the red gem is worth ten. So there's 20 levels in this game. I'm already at level 20, so I don't really need to collect gems, but um, when you're leveling up, you can collect those gems. And as you level up, you can have a choice of different heroes. So there's six di total of six different heroes, ten different swords, and 20 different hats. <laughs> so every level, you unlock a new hat that you can put on your character. I just have that little... Um, gold circlet on my head, but there's lots of crazy hats. Oh, and you saw just um, like a blizzard there. Uh, that's because I activated my blizzard spirit power. And you use the B button to activate a spirit power, and you hold the B button to select which one. And the blizzard freezes all the enemies in the map, so that's a cool one. The spirit of life will heal you and your allies back to full health. The spirit of wind and fire will either have a tornado or kind of a, f a column of fire that you can direct to kill enemies. And then the Earth Spirit Power um, gives you stone skin and makes you un invincible uh, temporarily. So um, you'll unlock those different spirit powers as you go along. So this game does have you know, a lot of cool different attacks and weapons and spirit powers um, and uh, lots of different enemies as you can see now and different maps. So overall, yeah, there's a pretty good amount of content in this game. Oh, and I'm just finishing up this survival mode and we survive, all three of us, yes. And if you do die, uh, one of your uh, allies can revive you by standing next to you. And if you actually want to talk to the other players in your party, you can use the left button to push to talk if you have your uh, headset in, which I'm not talking to the other people right now. We're not talking. We're just fighting the enemies. So now, again, there's three of us in this level. And this is kind of a cool level because you see there's like that lower part and then sort of these upper parts. So now I'm at the other side going up and down the stairs and now I'm coming back to my camera killing these blobs and when you kill these blobs there they explode and there's another little enemy inside of it um, there's also uh, ranged enemies that can shoot um, and so I'm, I'm here so now I'm taking out my bow and I'm trying to shoot this enemy but he's kind of behind the pole <laughs> uh, oh I just got hit from behind by a a ranged enemy, so now I'm showing you how to use the bow and arrow, although probably if he's this close you'd normally use the sword. Oh, the other thing about these ranged enemies is they can teleport. So this one didn't, but sometimes when you hit it once it'll teleport to a different location in the map. So, um, you know, watch out for that. The other uh, special enemy is the healer, and the healer has, I think, has like a book and a brown cloak, and that enemy can heal others. So you want to try to take him out first if you can. Uh, so now I'm going to kill that healer kind of in the in the corner there with my bow and arrow. Um, so there's healers, there's ranged enemies, there's the normal uh, brawlers, and there's kind of the thugs who are bigger. Oh, and you see Aurora has just joined the battle, so we have a fourth member in our party. Yay! So you can play up to four people at once. Uh, and we're just about cleared out um, this map. And this completes my walkthrough of Herobound Gladiators on Gear VR. You're watching Let's VR. This is Amber. Subscribe to my channel for more virtual reality gameplay videos.